Okay, video here of my 1969 C50 Chevy fire truck. Uh, I got this thing, oh, uh, what was it, like early spring or so. And, uh, buy it online on, on Facebook and thought it was pretty cool. And so I just been, I bought it, did some work to it, and been cleaning it up. So I'll give you guys a walk around of it here. So this is the, the pump right here. This is the water pump on the front, which hooks to the front of the motor, which runs the pump. Um, this guy here, it, it works, it runs and everything, except uh, it just needs a new water line hooked up from the tank to the pump here, which plugs in right here. And uh, other than that, it should pump water. Um, the pump runs pretty good. Uh, we just never got the chance to really pump some water through it. Uh, you got all of your gauges up here. Uh, most all of them work. Uh, your oil pressure, your temperature, uh, the hour meter, I'm, I believe it works. Um, that's the hour meter for your pump. And then uh, you got your fire pump. I'm not exactly sure what that one, that gauge there is for. Um, but yeah, it, all the gauges pretty much work. This is a switch for the light panel light here and there's some lights inside uh, the light in this gauge here works um, this one doesn't I I think it's all it is is just a loose connection inside the box there just never got to it yet um, but yeah I just kind of got the paint this is the original paint kind of got it back to life a little bit uh, it's worn in areas I mean you know it's over 50 years old so I don't know if you guys can see but there's a little bit of orange peel coming through the red and uh, I think this truck at one point or before the fire department had bought it it, uh, it was used to be orange and then when the fire department bought it they must have painted it red so that's why we got orange coming through the red there but other than that the paint I mean it's it's in pretty good shape you know you got areas where it's uh, wearing off and you know things like that but it's uh it's holding up pretty good uh threw some wax on it got the paint coming back um truck number on this thing 643 which on the front here on the hood you can see i don't know if you guys can see that but these were all of the trucks out of the fire department the volunteer fire department in kansas so uh, this guy here was a city pumper that's what the this truck was but, uh, all the glass is intact no th this truck has no damage at all except for on the back bumper where somebody had at one point backed into something or along those lines but other than that this truck has no body damage at all the frame is solid hardly any rust at all on this on this truck um, the body's really straight there's no bondo no nothing I mean the, the fenders is usually where they get beat up and twisted and stuff over you know over the years and then you end up getting somebody comes along does a bunch of bondo and body work but this truck has none of that this is all original stuff uh, doesn't look to be ever in a wreck or nothing so I'll give you guys a good walk around here got your hoses here got the hose reel up here which does work jump up here the hose reel there, the hose is actually in pretty good shape. Uh, again, we haven't pumped water yet, so I don't know if there's any leaks in the hose. Um, but I say you got a pretty good shot that you don't have any leaks with the hose here because it's, it's in pretty good shape. It's not real cracked out or nothing, so might have a pretty good chance there. Um, but uh, the hose reel, it works. I'll show you guys that real quick. Pull this hose out. It also has a nozzle there on the end. Just pull it out a little bit. I believe it's like 100 or 150 feet of hose here. And right here on the side of the truck, you got your uh, button to reel it in. Oh, hose got caught here. like that 
So the hose reel works pretty good. It's really quiet. I, I expected, it, expected it to be really loud, but it's really quiet, runs really good. Um, yeah, chain's intact and everything. A little electric motor underneath there. It works great. I used to have, at one point originally, it had two hose reels. There used to be another one on the passenger side, but it looks like they, they took that out at one point. So you just have the driver's side one there. So that guy works. Uh, there's one of the compartments inside. All the doors on this firebox here work really good. It all latches, closes, nothing's damaged. You know, it's in great shape. So that's the front compartment. Uh, these are your uh, valves and stuff for your water. There's another compartment here. This one here has a little bit of rust inside. Nothing's rusted through. But the little floor in here has definitely got some surface rust. But that, that's actually pretty much the worst part of the truck as far as the rust goes on this thing. And you got your fuel neck there. Back compartment. Now this one here kind of sticks sometimes. You gotta kind of hit it sometimes before I get it to latch. Here's the back. The lights up there, those guys do work. I'll show you that. There's actually a switch in here I put in here. So right up here on top put a switch you just flip it it's going to kind of be hard with the sunlight here but they are are working so those two lights are just hooked to a switch and you got your two doors back here and up here you got this is where your water tank is underneath kind of lift one of these guys up for you that's the water tank there, the top of it, which is in great shape as well. I actually went inside that water tank not too long ago, cleaned it all out. There's a lot of leaves and dirt and a little bit of rust and stuff, you know, over the years. So I just uh, went inside and cleaned it up real good and resealed it with like a rubber, uh, liquid rubber, and uh, cleaned it up good. And uh, it doesn't leak or nothing, so it's in really good shape. I know a lot of tanks are probably rusted out on these things. But this guy here, I got pretty lucky with it. Uh, all the lights work. You got some... I'm not exactly sure if those are backup lights. or are they? I'm pretty sure they're backup lights. I don't think they would be like strobe lights or nothing. But uh, those guys do not work, which I'm guessing it's just a switch on the transmission that's probably just has a loose connection or something. But uh, your brake lights and turn signals, all that good stuff works. They uh, actually, I just put new bulbs in there in the front and the back. So here's the passenger side of the truck, there's another compartment. And each compartment too it also has a light. They all work. I went through all the wire connections too to clean them up. Because a lot of the lights on these things, on the uh, wire connections on the on this truck, they just had these like little clips that were all kind of corroded. They just they weren't making a very good connection. So I just went through, snipped those off, and then uh, I just wired it, wired them direct and solder them, shrink tape them, so it's a good clean connection, good and solid. So all the lights on, in the compartments work. Each compartment has a light. Uh, here's the door. Also, the rockers and uh, cab corners are in really good shape. No rust at all, no damage. They're just, they're really good and solid, which is really, uh, really cool because most all these trucks especially the rockers the floors they're just they're just rotted through there's just nothing left usually but this guy here it's solid 
and you can see up underneath the door no rust everything's good and straight I put in new carpet. It originally had just the old rubber floor mats down there. They were kind of old and they just kind of fall apart and stuff. So I took all that out, cleaned the floor up really good. Uh, threw down a nice carpet kit, new chrome plates there. So it came out really nice. You can see the interior, the roof's really nice. No rust. Now this passenger door here, when you close it, it's a little, it kind of hung, gets hung up on the latch there. All it is, I think you just have to lower the door a little bit. Just a little adjustment there and then it'll close really nice. Now you got diamond plates all in really good shape. All the lights, sirens, everything works. Show you the driver's side here. And same thing up underneath the driver door. Really good shape, no rust, rockers are straight. Now the seat here, it is ripped. Um, but the padding is in great shape. There's plenty of padding here, the springs are good. Uh, in fact, I got a seat cover coming for it and I can lay on there just to clean it up and make it a little nicer But other than that, I mean you could e easily just have it reupholstered or something like that But uh, yeah Doors in great shape All the door latches here a lot of these guys they strip out, but they're good and solid um, Same thing with the window cranks on both sides. They're they're in great shape uh, the windows are a little stiff rolling up and down mainly because they the doors they really need new door seals and window seals here uh, because those are probably the, the original ones so makes it a little stiff rolling the windows up and down but they do roll roll down and up just fine um, this guy here you got your real switch there which we actually bypassed um, just to clean up and make everything a little more simpler when it comes to your hose reel um, so now all you have to do you just have that one button and that operates your hose reel up top so this guy here is is just for basically decoration now it doesn't really do nothing now you got the great big wheel of course you know in these big old trucks no power steering you gotta have that great big wheel for that leverage um, all the gauges I mean and this truck, I, I gotta say, this thing, it's like brand new. It's got, uh, let's see, right now we're sitting at uh, 7,600 miles, 7,628 miles we're about to turn. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but those are original miles. And uh, you can even confirm that with the department that the truck came out of because they retired it in... Um, 07 is when the truck came out of service and they sold it at auction uh, I believe they said at 4,000 miles they had on it when they sold it at auction um, So from that so from 2007 clear up to now um, It's only got set or 7,600 miles. So so that's pretty accurate, you know um, all the gauges work so uh, Really nice truck the wipers uh, oh no, that's lights. Never mind. <laughs> Those do work, obviously. But the wipers here, sometimes they'll work and sometimes they won't. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong because when you hold down the button there, it they were on just fine. But um, uh, let's see here. We got all your switches up here. You got your beacon, the big red light on the top of the truck. You got your compartment lights, which turn on all your compartment lights. Um, that all runs on the one switch uh, you got your heater controls which all work uh, the heater does work 
Um, in fact, I'm going to be putting in new heater duct today or tomorrow. Uh, so that way you have defrosters and all that good stuff. Um, you have your parking brake here, which works really good. Um, and then you got, so this is a four speed uh, transmiss transmission with a splitter. Uh, it's a two speed rear end, so every gear, if, if you're not familiar, uh, every gear has a high and low side. So which really makes it nice. In fact, I wish my C40 over there had that, but mine's just a basic four speed, nothing special there. But uh, this truck, it just, with the two speed rear end, it really helps you get that low extra power, especially if you're, you know, hauling a big load, especially with this thing, you know, you got a water tank back there. It's, you know, 700 to 750 gallons worth of water. And, you know, this great big truck, so, uh, you know, it helps you on heels and stuff if you can go on the low side of three and and then slowly work your way up through the gears. Um, so yeah, that, that makes it really nice. Works really, really well. It's a little sticky sometimes and honestly, I think it, it just needs to be worked more and driven more because this truck just, you know, it hasn't been on the road for a very long time. So, um, so the more you, you, you drive it and work it and stuff, the better it'll get. In fact, I've noticed just by driving it a little bit, the two-speed rear end doesn't uh, doesn't get so uh, so sticky, I guess you'd say. It kind of loosens up a little bit, starts being more responsive and stuff. But uh, yeah, all that stuff works. Uh, this is your Federal, your siren box here. Uh, the PA uh, does work. The sirens work. Um, yeah, uh, turn it on here. I'm not gonna do the siren. Well, I guess I can do a siren here. So, uh, so it's turned on now and uh, you have a siren button here you got like I think three different modes of sirens here with the knob so that one just does a quick little siren there and then if you turn the knob to the other ones the you have different sirens um, and it'll just keep going off so yeah the sirens work um, what else the uh, dome light here it works and that's all on your switch here, so works really good. And the dash pad, I, this thing is in really good shape. It's not cracked or nothing. And you know, usually they're they're all busted up and you just have to replace them. Um, but this guy here, it's in great shape. It needs to be cleaned, a little, little dusty up here, but um, in great shape. It looks like they used to have an ax up here. Um, so yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll give you guys a look at the inside of the engine compartment here. So here's the engine compartment. Climb up here real quick. So uh, like I said earlier, it's got a brand new Elderbrock carburetor. Uh, new uh, a brand new Elderbrock aluminum intake. Uh, I sandblasted the valve covers, repainted those. And uh, it's got all new plugs, brand new uh, electronic ignition. It did have the points, we took those off, updated that to the new uh, AGI. Works really good. And then you got your, uh, this, the brakes have gone, been gone through by a shop. It's got a new uh, master cylinder up there. So like I said, uh, the I had a shop they, that I took it to to do some work to the uh, ignition system because our shop's just not set up correctly. Because um, we kind of have a dirt floor so it makes it real hard sometimes to work on things. So I uh, uh, took it to a shop, they, did the, they put the uh, electronic ignition in. Um, they uh, they went through the front brakes on this thing. They might have gone through the rear brakes. I'm not sure, but they definitely went through the front brakes. Uh, uh, and then they bled the brake system. They put brand new uh, wheel cylinders in the front. Each wheel on this thing has two wheel cylinders. Usually it's just one, but uh, I experienced on this truck. This one only has or has. Two wheel cylinders on each one, so that that was different. Never seen that before. 
Um, so they replaced those, new master cylinder, rebled the brakes, and they also redid a brake line or brake lines right inside there. They replaced those with all brand new rubber lines there. So the brakes work really good, and of course, you know, it's all original low mileage truck here, so the brakes are in really good shape. Um, but because we did have a uh, brake cylinder that did go out a while back on this thing, um, the brakes were a little wet, so they, the shop we took it to, they cleaned it up a little bit. So the brakes are a little sticky at times, but the more you drive it, um, the more that'll probably, the more the brakes will work a little bit better. Um, I mean, they work just fine right now. They'll just, if you like kind of put your foot into the brake a little bit, kind of hard, you know, it'll be a little sticky. Um, but other than that, they, they work really good. Um, so yeah, this truck's had a lot of nice little up, upgrades to it so far. Uh, because when, when I got it, it had the old, or uh, yeah, the old distributor, which was pretty much just shot. Uh, it had the uh, the old points on there. Um, it had just the old two barrel carburetor, the old t intake, all that stuff. So we took all that off, redid that, new intake, new carburetor, electronic ignition. Um, of course, I did the valve covers. Uh, it's got a new oil pan gasket uh, the shop put on there, um, and obviously a, a fresh oil change. So uh, yeah, everything's in really good shape. Uh, it's it's literally a brand new truck uh, with an old body sitting on it. So uh, which is really cool. Never had a truck so original before, and you know, accurate miles like that. And uh, yeah, so really nice truck. I'll take it down the the road a little bit for you guys, so you can see that it, it runs and drives really good. Uh, I'll shift through some of the I use the splitter for you guys so you can see that working good One thing I just absolutely love about these trucks or at least this one that parking brake right there It works so well my C40 over there You don't it doesn't have a brake so you're always having to put it in gear and block the tires all that stuff this thing you just pull the brake and it it'll just sit there and works really good so um yeah so uh we'll go down the road i'll show you guys uh truck running in action and shift through some of the gears and use a splitter so here we go take the brake off start in second And I love this truck. It's got great big mirrors on it. It makes it really nice to, to see out of. And the clutch in this thing, man, it is nice and smooth. And But again, it's like brand new. I mean, it's original miles, so really nice truck. So I'm going to shift in the third low. go on out on some dirt roads here a little bit and make sure I don't hit no fence on the way out great big big old bumper on the front of this thing and the long wheelbase kind of makes it a little tricky sometimes okay guys I uh, drove out here to some of these back roads here so uh, I had a stop sign here I mean I'm doing a start in second Man, I love that clutch. It's so smooth and like a brand new clutch. <laughs> and I'm gonna go at third. Now that's third low. I'm gonna shift up to uh, third high here in a second. Pull up my button. Yep, just shifted. So now I'm in third high. Go to the fourth or low clutch. Go ahead and start in second. So now we're in second low. 
just gonna go ahead and shift on up to third low. I'm gonna go to uh, third high. Pull the button up. Now we're at third high. Felt it shift. Now we're coming up to a stop sign here, so I'm just going to leave it in four low. here sometimes that can be a little finicky trying to get in the reverse and like I said it's probably just because this thing hasn't been driven in quite a while so it's kind of like kind of like the truck still breaking in in a way <laughs> one second Trying to turn this big old wheel <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> we'll go, go to the third. There we go. 
Sorry if the camera's a little shaky here, guys. It's just trying to drive and film and with no power steering and great big wheel like this. Not so easy. <laughs> This thing's just got tons of power. Now it's not like a real fast truck, as most of you guys know, these old trucks, they just don't go that quick. They're just not set up that way. But it will definitely get you up over a hill, no problem. And uh, taking off from a light, you'll, you'll, you definitely got the power there for sure. And the gearing works really well. One of the things I just love about these trucks is the gearing is so low. I mean, this thing will, We'll just tow and uh, pull a tree stump out of, a, out of the ground. And they're just good old trucks. Now I just want to show you guys something here. I don't know if you'll really show very well on the on the video here but right here on this little intersection it's really really rough and this truck with the weight of it and the long wheelbase it just goes right on over nice and smoothly uh, you you feel the bumps but it's it's a really smooth it's just really smooth going through that intersection there My C40 I have, it's, it's a lot lighter than this thing, for sure. And the wheelbase is a lot shorter on it. So, in that truck of mine, it's really rough. I mean, it, the back end basically just comes off the ground and just floats around, basically. But this thing, it, it, it's so, the weight in the wheelbase, it just sticks right to the ground. Uh, it makes for a really nice, smooth ride. It steers so nice that I mean, you can pretty much take your hands off the wheel and it'll just drive nice and straight. Now I do want to point out to you guys too, oh, the little pad here fell off. This does fall off sometimes. Off the brake pedal there, it just snaps on there. Probably could use a new one on there, but it works for now. But I do want to point out to you guys too, up underneath, as I guess this would be probably the worst part of the rust on this truck um, which is, it's not serious at all but I do just want to show you guys if I can here if I can get the carpet up up underneath on the driver's side here it's pretty rotted um, it's a little a little more than just surface rust but it's not it's not rusted through or nothing it's still very solid um, but that's just like right here uh, on the driver's side. Everywhere else on the floor is solid. Hardly any rust at all. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to point that out to you guys too, just so you, you're not shocked. Um, if you come look at this thing when it's for sale. But uh, there's the fuse panel too. You can see how clean and nice that is. Um, and your lights up here, you got two of these spotlights on each side. They all work. You can see they all work really good. They they both turn on and everything and all that good stuff. Doors close really nice. So yeah, that's the 1969 C50 Chevy fire truck. I just, I love this thing. It's just all original pretty much, you know. I mean, everything's pretty much the same. I mean, through the years, I think at one point people have taken things off. And uh, like that one hose reel up there, that might have been the fire department. I'm not real sure. But um, as far as things that are missing on the truck, uh, I think that's the biggest thing really is that hose reel on the passenger side. Um, and the plumbing on the truck uh, the only thing that is missing is just the water line that obviously plugs into here into the pump and up underneath let's see if I can show you guys
that's kind of hard to show you guys under there but underneath is just a port where you plug in your water line which we do have we have all the new water line for it that just runs from the bottom of the water tank up over to the water pump on the front of the truck um, so that's all it's really missing as far as pumping water uh, and there is a gearbox on the front of the pump here there's a gearbox in there that leaks oil a little bit so um, it would it probably should get it probably should get a new seal for it eventually because um, it just doesn't hold the gear oil in there very well but other than that other than those two things this thing should pump water no problem um, the hose reel should, should uh, have plenty of water flow uh, the pump uh, does turn just fine we we took a, a big water tank and backed up right in front of this pump and put water right into the pump and pumped it and the propellers turn and everything it runs real good so it just needs to be plumbed and get that little gearbox leak there on the pump there fixed and it should be pumping water pretty good but like I said we got all the plumbing pieces for it uh, it's all a PVC and obviously it's on the input side of the pump um, but yeah all the other water lines seem to be just fine everything's intact um, so yeah here's the uh, tires the tires now uh, they're in good shape these are the you know original tires here so they are old um, these are the the wheels here are the Widowmaker split rim so um, they are kind of kind of dangerous nobody works on them so um, but you can easily switch this guy out to 22 fives and uh, have some really have a really nice little wheel and tire set up here on this truck but uh, but as far as the tires that are on here now they're they're fine they're all holding air they're in really good shape actually especially the rears uh, they are weather checked a little bit but not too bad uh, plenty of meat there on the tread you know plenty of tread there on the tire um, and yeah and as you can see I mean the frame is really there is no rust on this thing that's the this is actually the edge of the water tank here um, which is in great shape I mean, everything up under here is had been uh, like undercoated so it's it's good and protected uh, I, it just blows me away how there's like no rust at all on this thing like I said the worst spots on this truck as far as rust goes is right there on the driver's side floorboard just in that one little area um, but even at that it, it's not rusted through or nothing it's still really solid but uh, yeah the wheels and tires are they're good on this truck you know you, you can still run them for quite some time um, but yeah I mean if you got like a flat or something and you're kind of <laughs> in a bad situation there but like I said you can always switch these guys out to 22 fives and have a really nice wheel and tire setup on this thing it's what I'm running on the C40 of mine which works really nice I just I love those wheels and tires and you don't have those worries about the split rims and all that stuff but yeah here's the other side of the rear tires great shape um, that is the water tank or not water tank uh, the fuel tank it's in the back of the truck that's it right there I'm not sure how big it is my guess is it has to be at least 25 gallons it could be anywhere from like 25 to maybe even uh, who knows could be 80 gallons it, it really could be 80 gallons because the other day I put 10 gallons the truck was like empty on gas I put 10 gallons in and it almost gave it a quarter of a tank according to the gauge which the gauge is really accurate um, so 10 gallons gave it like almost a quarter of a tank so if this thing was uh, if this tank was full you got like 80 gallon uh, yeah like 80 gallons of fuel so it's got a massive fuel tank so you never have to worry about running out of fuel I would hate to be the one to fill this thing all the way up but <laughs> you definitely have plenty of storage for your your gas um and as far as the water tank uh the water tank on this guy i'm not sure how big it is either but it's got to be somewhere around 700 to 750 gallons i would imagine so it definitely has a lot of a lot of water storage there 
and uh, like I said water tank doesn't leak at all in this truck um, of course I haven't had it I haven't filled it all the way up either but I have had it filled uh, probably a good six inches at least and to cover all the seams and stuff in the tank on the bottom and stuff and there was no leaks at all it held water really well uh, so it's it's good and solid I'll show you the front wheels here the front tires are probably the worst than the back you can see right here it, it's a little chipped out there um, you know there there's a few little uh, chips on the edge of the front tires here that are out uh, which they're they're still working just fine but I just want to point that out to you guys just so you're just so you guys know uh, and of course the new brake line um, yeah the fender wells are in great shape show you the driver's side front tire so this one is probably the worst one on the truck right here you can see it's chunked out pretty good but um, there's still plenty of rubber there to protect it nothing serious and of course you know these are the tube type tires they got tubes in there so pretty much I mean these things are really tough tires because of that so um, you know all my C40 when I got it, it used to be a dump truck and uh, the rear tires on it were literally just falling apart I mean there's chunks just falling off the wheels or you know off the tires and uh, uh, and they were still holding air and I never had one tire go flat on me or blow out or nothing so uh, these tires are really are pretty tough so unless you get like a nail or something like that that punctures a tube you're pretty pretty good but I just want to point that out there is a few chunks out of the uh, edges of the tire there but but it's still holding air doing good and I don't think we would have any problems with these tires for a, quite a quite some time but yeah overall this thing is just nice I'll turn the big light on for you guys so you can see that works turn that on real quick uh, let's see here this switch right here just pop it out it's kind of hard to see in the daylight but it's running all of your cab lights up here they all work now there is some tape on the top of the light there because there is a little bit of a hole in the top um, it's not too bad but there is a hole uh, so there's some tape up there I've been keeping fresh tape on there making sure it no water or anything no water or dirt nothing gets in there so it works really well so yeah yeah this this truck is just a solid truck I'm thinking about selling it so part of me really really wants to keep it but then part of me is like uh, I don't know because you know it I mean I don't really have much of a use for a, an actual fire truck like this I mean it would be cool I mean I would love to put it in like parades or um, just take it out for nice Sunday drives or things like that or just have around on the property especially where we live you know out in the country and we're surrounded by grass all the time so you know uh during the summer months we have fires and stuff so it would be a good peace of mind knowing that we have a fire truck full of water that's functional but um but at the same time other than those two things basically you know it it, it pretty much would just be sitting here 90 percent of the time and this this thing deserves to be out and driven and put in parades and things like that so so that, yeah I think I'm probably gonna end up selling it pretty soon but I just and I just love this truck it's just it's the histo uh, nostalgic part of it you know it just original no body damage at all it runs really good original miles i mean it's a new truck basically when you look at the truck part of it you know it's it's like brand new runs really good starts right up 
Um, it does have a it has a mechanical fuel pump so like I said you got your fuel tank in the back uh, there's electric fuel pump that pumps the fuel which basically works as a pusher pump uh, pumps the fuel up to the uh, mechanical fuel pump on the motor and then that pushes the and then the mechanical pump obviously pushes the fuel up to your carburetor but uh, so yeah that's how that setup is and uh, yeah so I also have a video um, at night with all the lights on and everything so I'll, uh, I'll play that next for you guys so you can see all the lights at night time working and um, I even did a drive at night with it so you guys can see that so yeah it's a good running truck and uh, pretty nice so uh, appreciate appreciate you guys watching hope you liked the video and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time